We're going to talk about that more after we take calls. But when I read about the psychology of Henry Kissinger and all these different globalists, they themselves admit they love the guards. They love the pomp. They love the awards. And I'm not saying I'm some perfect person, but I can't stand pomp. I, I can't stand just fake praise. But I guess for people like the Queen of England, they love uniforms. They love big golden crowns. They love... And, and, and they're smart at certain levels, but at another level, they're dumb. They do just paper over it with a police state and their lies. But like you have been saying, this isn't going to hold water. No, it's not. You know, and, and again, you know, when you hear these politicians like, like Al Gore or Hillary Clinton or Bush, or, I'm going to fight for you. These people couldn't fight their way out of a paper bag. Anybody that calls them their leaders needs to have their heads examined. These people couldn't lead me across the street and they want to lead a country. Again, it's all show. It's the Obama show. We've never had a show like this one before. He's on daytime TV, late night TV. He's a town hall meeting. He's on factory floors. He's all over the place. It's a show. There's nothing behind it. It's the Wizard of Oz. And people are finding out that it's all hollow, and that's why his approval rating's dropping like a rock. We'll talk about some of the other future trends you haven't gotten to yet before you leave us. We'll also discuss that key area, Gerald, uh, that you got into. Uh, dealing with the looting of America by offshore corporations. We'll be right back in one minute with the final hour. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. We are locked and loaded. We found it, the front line in the info war. I'm Alex Jones, your host, Gerald Salente of TrendsResearch.com is our guest for another 30 minutes. We're going straight to your calls. Before he leaves us, more trends forecasting as we look over the horizon through the mind of Gerald Salente. Cynthia in Maryland, thanks for holding. You're on the air worldwide. Welcome. Hi. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say before the break, before this one, I noticed that there was Dr. Who music playing in the background, and I thought that was so apropos because... I just wanted to say that Doctor Who, Charlie Jade, Eureka, Heroes, and another show, everybody knows them as science fiction, but I have to say that they are based on fact. There are a lot of aspects of those shows that are put into science fiction but are actually based on fact. If you Well, when I grew research. up... When I grew up, hardly anybody had cable, and we didn't have cable. And I could, one of the few shows on was Doctor Who, and I watched it a few times. But Paul Watson wrote an article a few years ago about the new Doctor Who, where the government stages a fake alien attack on London as a pretext to crack down on the population. Do you have any questions for Gerald Salente? Uh, no, I just wanted to give some other educational resources, being Link, Link TV, Free Speech TV, WPFW and Democracy Now. Uh, My problem with Democracy Now is it is better than some mainstream corporate media, but it's still Ford Foundation funded and is still behind Obama. But at least they did admit that Obama lied about how he wasn't going to sign signing statements. Gerald Salente, I mean, I, I mean, we know they're liars, but but you've been studying this for for thirty plus years and, and advising government corporations, you name it. Is the lying getting more intense? Or is it just we're aware of it? Because the New York Times and others have a school program where they give fact sheets to school children saying there is no mercury in the shots, it doesn't give you neurological disorders, it can't sterilize you. But then the drug insert from FDA.gov, I showed this on television slash radio show yesterday, here they are, says that it can do all of that and that there is mercury in it. Uh, and so just all of the lie and Obama, he seems to have broken all the lying records in my book. Uh, your take on that? Well, he has. And, and it's, it's every time that you go through the litany of lies from Obama, what he said he was going to do, whether it has to do with habeas corpus, uh, uh, rendition, uh, the Patriot Act, uh, wiretapping, uh, uh, pulling the troops out of out of Iraq. Uh, putting more troops into Afghanistan, bombing uh, uh, sovereign nations. 
you go after one one issue after another. Lobbyist really. lying, Lobbyist, saying he'd have, he'd yeah. had, he would have open government. Uh, and, and you tell these things to his liberal supporters, and what I say is that you go through the facts and they look at you, and the only thing they could do is give you a quiche-eating grin and a balsamic smile, and they say, well, give him time, or, oh, he can't really fight that much about this. You know, just give him a chance. What chance? How much more chance? He's one of them. Nothing has changed. It's only a different team in there playing the same crooked games. Has the lying increased? Yes, it has. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. It's one lie after another every day. And But the biggest thing that's happened, Alex, between Bush and Obama in one year, in one year, is that this country went from the greatest entrepreneurial country in the world, the one that was the envy of everybody that wanted to come here to make their mark, to now a country that's too big to fail, that they have jammed down the public's throats, the, the, this too big to fail lie, and that all our resources should be going to protect them. You know, in our Trends Journal, we, we did a story about this too big to fail. After Obama was elected in December, they asked him, why are we bailing out these companies? And he came out with this two-bit analogy. Well, if your neighbor's house is on fire, even if he smoked in bed or left the stove on, wouldn't you want to put it out if it was going to catch your fire onto your house? Well, seven months later, on 60 Minutes, they asked Federal Chairman Bernanke the same question. And you know what he said? What if your house, neighbor's house is on fire and he left a stove on and smoked in bed? Would you want to put it on? Stay there. They're reading off the script. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? We're going to go to Michael, Nikki, Luke, Captain Truth, and others for Trends Forecaster Gerald Salente. But I wanted to finish up talking about Obama. It's just like when you grow up loving a football team, you identify with it like a political party. You don't want to admit when it's doing things wrong or lying to you. And so many Americans, this is changing, and that's our salvation politically, that the Republicans, the leadership, will lie to you. They work for the same special interest. The Democrats work for the same offshore criminal special interest. But you talk to Obama supporters, and it's just like Bush supporters, when we would say, he's spying on you. He's setting up homeland security for gun owners, conservatives, libertarians. They're setting up brigade homeland through NORTHCOM to use the military against us. He lied about WMDs. He's torturing people. He's tripled the size of government. He's going along with all the Clinton advisors from before him with this seamless scam. The politicians change, but the Wall Street cronies stay in place, and they wouldn't listen. Now, as soon as Bush left office, they suddenly woke up to all these issues and got upset because now they saw Obama carrying out the issues. Suddenly, Democrats that could see what Bush was doing that was wrong were blind to Obama, and they'll get this sickening smile and say, you're just jealous of him, you're just a Republican, you're just a racist, you just don't like him, you got to give him time when he's lied, as we mentioned earlier, about everything, a new standard. In line, worse than Clinton, worse than Bush, worse than Tricky Dick Nixon. Now they're having to give Senate speeches on the floor about his enemies list. I'm listed in the news as in the top 25 White House enemies for Obama deception. They're really going to hate Follow the Republic uh, that's now launched, that's now dropped. And it's this delusional syndrome where either people are waking up more than ever. We see a quickening there, huge numbers waking up. But still, those that are staying asleep are getting even stupider. They love being abused. They love being lied to. They love being scammed. They think it's cute. They think it's funny. They have invested in Obama. They have invested in the government. I have the Wall Street Journal with the head of the health care lobby admitting that the insurance companies wrote this as a looting and that, the, and that the government wants a new tax, so they're going to split it with the insurance companies, and that they may back out because of citizen pressure. Uh, by both uh, uh, you know, liberals and conservatives against $5,000 fines. They want that. Obama only wants $2,000 fines if you don't get insurance that they're pulling out of what they wrote. And they admit that in this insurer's stand against committee's plan. So we hear the fake left saying, oh, Alex, you don't want the health care plan because you work for the insurance companies. When the insurance companies wrote the stinking thing, it's like it's it's a matrix of lies. The lies are so big that the general public just doesn't even know what to do. It's like the media, Gerald, saying there's no mercury in the shot 
As I mentioned, when I have the insert for the H1N1 shot right here and FDA.gov saying it can give you Gillian Berets and can sterilize you and give you cancer. I mean, it's it, it just what's going to happen to the system as as people finally wake up to the fact that they've been completely screwed. Well, again, we're seeing this is, again, as we've, we've mentioned many times and have been writing about it since 2002, and that this is much more than an economic crisis. This is the, this is the decline of empire America. We've lost our morality. And, you know, morals don't change. Values do. And, and people have lost their own self-respect. When they talk about health care reform,